It's so refreshing because so much of our freezer is red meat. Put it up. Big girl, do you know what day it is? It's pheasant season. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Allie D'Andrea. Today we're going pheasant hunting with Abby. This is her first time hunting this year. It is um, only her third time ever. The first year that we took her, she had no interest in pheasant hunting whatsoever. The second year that we took her, she flushed her first bird and then she ended up flushing I think like five total for the day and we have just been dying to take her back again and finally the season is here and it is time to hunt. We literally just pulled up. Yes! Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, do you recognize where we are? <laughs> oh my god, I think she knows. That face, you can tell. We bought her some of this, which is like pheasant scent. Nick said that it smells just kind of like chicken broth. And we bought her a bumper, and we've been tossing the bumper to her. We've been shooting a gun, tossing the bumper, having her retrieve it. I'm very confident that this girl will flush some birds today. I don't know if they'll be in range for us to take a shot. And I also don't know if she'll retrieve anything if we do shoot anything. So, but it's a big day. It's a big day. I was thinking about bringing, <laughs> I was thinking about bringing gloves because my hands were getting cold on the last pheasant hunt we were on. But the last pheasant hunt we were on was crazy. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. There's two other people here. Yeah, there are two other people here, but... That's, there's plenty of room here. Yeah. We stopped at Tim Hortons. Yeah. Mm. Got some breakfast sandwiches and some coffee. Uh, squirrels and rabbits are in too. Well, maybe uh -huh. no rabbits, actually, I'm not sure. Squirrels, well, we can check. Squirrels are in. The PA Game Commission actually has She will treat app. a squirrel. I'll put money on it, she will treat a squirrel. Uh -huh. The Pennsylvania Game Commission has a little app that is really easy to see what's in season. Okay, so right now we have <laughs> bear archery, deer archery, uh, bobwhite quail, crow, pheasant, <laughs> rabbit, yahoo, ruffed grouse, squirrel, woodcock, and then there's all kind of waterfowl and fur bears. Woo! All right, let's get to it. Okay, buddy. Good girl. Good girl. Abika. She flushed her first bird of the season. And she's doing so good. You can tell that she's really hunting. And she's so excited. I completely missed her. Good girl. Uh, huh? Try to grab those shells if you can. Where are they? There's one, two here. Oh. Easy, go ahead, drink up. Do you want to take a turn? Abby, come! That was perfect. That was perfect. I'm really bad at shooting. Dang it! Good girl! We're gonna go find him. Did she get him up or did he? She got him up. 100% she got him up. She did perfect. Good girl. Oh my god, that 
was so perfect. Dang, we're really bad. <laughs> I'm so excited for her though. Okay, I need to really get focused with this. My girl, my girl, I know you're doing so good, baby. Huh. My girl, my girl. Okay. Find him. I feel like it's straight ahead more. Yeah. Ooh, this is hot. Over here. Over here, big girl. This might be too high. Yeah. I think I'm not going to be able to shoot. Maybe we should just bail. Back out. Yeah. Abby, come. Oh, right in front of you. Rooster. Two of them. Yahoo! Dead bird, big girl. Dead bird. Buddy. Buddy, easy. Easy. Hey. Hey, right here. Abby, come here. Find it. We got feathers here. Find it. Buddy, find it. Find it. Oh, it's right here. She got it. Bring him up. Bring him up, buddy. Bring it here. Give it up. I could like actually cry. I'm so excited. Get him. That's it. That's it. Abby, bring it over here. Okay. Good girl. All right, let's go. Woo! That's it, big girl. Look at it. Sit. Okay. Good girl. That's yours. Good job. Good job, baby. I cried. I was so proud of you. <laughs> Wait. Hey. Enough. Enough. Wait. Wait. Oh wait, you actually have a thorn in your face. Wait. Okay. Hold him up. Nick's trying to walk Abby and film at the same time here. All right, now we've got a bird to clean and cook. I'm so proud. I'll talk more once we get into the van, but oh, so cool. She's whooped. Oh my God, she's whooped, I'm whooped. That was such a great success. There were so many people there by the time we left, which is incredible that so many people utilize the opportunity to hunt pheasant like that. There were, we saw mostly labs, right? Two or three black labs. I think three black labs and what were those little like English pointers, uh, English setters? Sometimes, I think they were pointers but two really beautiful little like setter type birds. Um, Abby, oh yeah, dogs. <laughs> the only thing that Abby wasn't able to do was like retrieve the bird, bring it back. She did find it, right? Or did you see it first? Well, I think we both like walked on it. Oh, okay. So, she, she pointed to it and I found it. So I stayed pretty much right where I shot it from and just kept an eye on where I saw it fall and then Nick walked ahead with Abby to try and get her to find it and they both sort of found it together. But he said that she went right up to it and started like sniffing it and maybe like nibbling on it. Did you pull it out of the brush? Nope. Okay, so then she did pick it up in her mouth. I didn't touch it. And then by the time I got over there, I watched her actually like pick the bird up and hold it in her mouth and walk around. She didn't bring it to me or Nick, but she held it. And then I <laughs> and so proud of her from like thinking about her getting to those pheasant fields the first year and just like having no clue like not not a care in the world wouldn't even like look at the pheasant to last year when she figured out how to flush like we didn't do anything to teach her that she just learned and then this year the very minimal quote-unquote training that we've done which was basically just throwing a bumper and shooting guns and getting her comfortable around all that stuff um, 
to now, like the flushes that she did today were so perfect. Every single one should have been a dead bird if the shooter was <laughs> up to par. But it was just like, she stayed at a good distance. There were a couple times that she ran ahead, but she never flushed a bird too far ahead. She always flushed them at a great distance. And I'm just like, so proud of her and so happy that we can do something like this that's so much fun for her and so much fun for us. I've just never seen dogs as excited as when they're hunting like that. It just feels so good to see your dog so happy. Come on, big girl. Go ahead. Good girl. It's time for her bath. Hey there, happy girl. All right, I'm gonna give her a bath. I'll be right back. Yes, Look at how much fur is in the drain. <laughs> All right, so here's the setup. I'm just going to pull off the breast meat and the legs. I'm not gonna try and pluck this bird or anything. So I have breasts and legs right there. They just need cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna take the wings off of this bird just for more training for Abby. There we go. Oh, Abby girl. I want you guys to see. Abby girl. Okay. Two training wings. Okay, it's time to cook up Abby's pheasant. Oh, I drew a little heart on it. This has been vacuum sealed and in the refrigerator, although I've had it thawing for the past couple of hours because I like my meat room temperature before I start to cook it. I took a poll on Instagram to see what you guys wanted me to make with this. I had the option of sous vide or stir fry and stir fry won by a landslide. So that's what we're making. I've got all of the ingredients. I went to the store and got some good stuff, so. I want to do this justice because it's a special thing. It's Abby's first pheasant and I'm just so proud. I'm actually thinking of taking her pheasant hunting again tomorrow, so. Okay, let's get started. Okay, not gonna lie, cried a little bit when I chopped the onion, but here's what I've got. Pheasant meat, looking all sexy with pepper. I don't know why I said that, that was weird. <laughs> with pepper, uh, salt, and I just chopped it up, cleaned it up, took all the feathers and pellets out of it, whatever. Then I have a onion and jalapeno. Three jalapenos to be exact. And if you really like that spicy, keep the seeds in there cause whew, she will be spicy. But I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes so I'll add even more heat. And then over here, I have a cast iron pan with some olive oil that's heating up and then first in the pan these guys added a little bit of this and a little bit of this this stuff is awesome minced ginger so much easier than cutting it all up so those are all cooking away next is pheasant one pheasant is definitely not enough it's gonna be a high veggie meal <laughs> for my vegan boy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a little wah, wah. Uh, There's going to be way more veggies than me, but it's still going to be delicious. So this is what else I'm adding. I have broccoli, bell pepper, uh, mushroom, and snow peas. Rest of the veggies are in the pan. I removed the pheasant, the jalapeno, all that good stuff. So that will go back in in just about a minute. And then I will get working on this secret sauce. Sauce is cooking away. This is all it was. Some soy sauce, sesame seed oil. This stuff is heaven sent. And then honey, and I used up 
So now it will just reduce down until it gets thick and sticky and delicious. Oh, I also deglazed the pan with a little bit of water and then scraped it to get all of the brown caramelization and flavor off of the bottom of the pan. So that sauce is just thickening and getting ooey gooey and delicious. Um, and then right before I serve it, I'm going to sprinkle some red pepper flakes for some heat. Some more black pepper because freaking love black pepper. Some sesame seeds. And I'll finish it with a little bit of lime juice. Little acid. Not too many, because this can get really hot really quick. Get out of here. <laughs> Nick's hungry. I'm trying to take some beauty shots. Look at how freaking mouth-watering, delicious. I topped it with all those sesame seeds. Ooh! <laughs> no, don't touch it! Yes. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, pheasants are good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Marvelous. This is a little hot. I don't know if it's the jalapenos or the red pepper flakes that's adding more heat. What do you think it is? Honestly, it's like a, a three out of 10 for me, two out of 10. Well, it's like a five out of 10 for me, so. I think it's the jalapenos. That's about all the pheasant Nick left for me. <laughs> Just one little piece. It's so good though. I always say this every time I cook, any type of white meat that's wild game, like pheasant and other upland birds or squirrels or turkeys, it's so refreshing because so much of our freezer is red meat. Yeah, so it's just a refreshing change. Mm. Okay. Well, that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.